Whitney Houston driving up in a big white limo for her reunion with husband Bobby Brown as he's released from behind bars. I got to go home. <laughs> the latest news on the singer's jail sentence and why comedian Chris Rock was protesting for the couple. Plus, we'll show you the new picture of Meg Ryan getting close with Russell Crowe. This is Entertainment Tonight, the most watched entertainment news program in the world. Bobby Brown out of jail is the top Hollywood story for Friday, July 7th, 2000. Hello, everyone. Mary Hart is off. I'm Jan Carl. And for Bob going up, Mark Stein. As well, with tears of joy in her eyes, Whitney Houston welcomed her husband back to freedom. We were outside the jailhouse for their first moments together and another Hollywood star's bizarre protest. Whitney arrived in a white stretch limo, cell phone in hand, but she passionately hugged and kissed her husband Bobby as he left a Florida detention center at midnight. The emotional reunion came as Brown was released 10 days early for good behavior. Originally, he was sentenced to 75 days in jail. It is beautiful out here. I finished my time. I just want to be with my family, my friends. Um, that's it, basically. The 31-year-old singer had been in prison for repeatedly violating the terms of his probation, which stemmed from a 1996 arrest for drunk driving. While behind bars, Brown attended a drug rehab program and had a message for young people. You don't want to mess around with alcohol. You don't want to mess around with marijuana either. Um, drugs, period. Chris Rock staged a tongue-in-cheek vigil for Brown's release as a sketch for Rock's HBO series. But clearly, Bobby's mind was on his family. Where do you go next? I go home to enjoy my summer with my kids, um, to work on my life, you know? And during this impromptu press conference, Bobby's excited wife could be heard calling him to leave. I'm coming! After a few quick photos, Bobby offered a heartfelt goodbye, and he and Whitney went back to being Mr. and Mrs. Brown. Bobby's early release has special meaning for the couple. Now they will get to celebrate their eighth anniversary together on July 18th. Houston's husband, singer Bobby Brown, is a free man tonight. He was met with a warm welcome as he was released from a South Florida jail this morning. Brown was greeted by a cheering crowd. He served 65 days in the Broward County Detention Center for violating his parole on a 1996 drunk driving conviction. That's Chris Rock. I'll explain that in a moment. Uh, Brown's wife, pop diva Whitney Houston, jumped into his arms in a cheerful union, and now Brown's friend, comedian Chris Rock, held a mock vigil. Well, we just got our pictures kind of switched around here, didn't we? That's going to be on his HBO comedy show at some future. Tonight, singer Bobby Brown is out of jail. Just after the stroke of midnight, Florida officials released Brown. Several dozen fans greeted him, among them comedian Chris Rock. But Brown's biggest fan, his wife, Whitney Houston. Come on, Brown served 65 days in jail for violating parole on a 1996 drunk driving conviction. Bobby Brown is a free man again. He walked out of a Florida prison early this morning. He spent about two months behind bars for violating his parole. He was sentenced to more time, but he got out early for good behavior. His wife, singer Whitney Houston, picked him up. I finished my time. I just want to be with my family, my friends. Um, that's it, basically. And where do you go next? You stay here? You go home? What do you do? I go home to enjoy my summer with my kids, um, to work on my life. Comedian Chris Rock was also there to welcome Brown. He led a mock vigil for a segment on HBO. Rock says he just hopes the singer gets his life together. It stemmed from drunk driving and a car accident back in 96. Wife and superstar Whitney Houston arrived in a limo to pick up her man. Friend and comedian Chris Rock was also there to give his buddy a big hug. And Rock taped that mock protest for an upcoming skit. Bobby Brown lets out a big yell as he walks out of the North Broward Detention Center, a free man. Every little step closer to the waiting arms of wife, Whitney Houston. Bobby Brown! And he now says after more than two months in jail, he'll be spending a lot more time with his other half. I finished my time. I just want to be with my family, my friends. Um, that's it. So what did he learn behind bars? After everything I've been through, I can pretty much say, um, 
You don't want to mess around with alcohol. You don't want to mess around with marijuana either. Um, drugs, period. With that changed prerogative, Brown greets friends keeping vigil to welcome him out. Friends like this, you know. Friends like comedian Chris Rock, who brought along an entourage complete with signs, guitars, and candles. Bobby, you just got out of jail. What are you going to do? Rock is actually making Brown's release part of the first installment of his new HBO show, and he put on quite a show. No peace. No Bobby. No peace. No Bobby. No peace. For now, Brown says he doesn't want to be cruel, but his only concern is his family. I can only account for my own kids. I can only account for bringing them up and raising them well and um, being a role model for them. So I've done a good job with them. Um, other, the parents out there have to take care of their kids. Um, I'm not here to be a role model for other people's children. I'm Christina Gonzalez, Channel 10 Eyewitness News.